Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a fourth episode of Thousand Week Riken German Perspectives. In the last episode, well, the USSR is already finished. I still gotta deal with a faction bordering mine here in former Russia, and the Iran Arab War is already still ongoing. And I'm gonna help France gain a foothold back in Africa, declaring war on Algeria. Let's see how it'll go. Oh, dang. The Arab Federal Republic is really... Thank you, German workers. Send German support. There we go. The Spear Manifesto. God. Damn. Oh, they signed the White Peace, but the Arab Federal Republic got Kurdistan and, and Khuzestan provinces of Iran. J just so they could get a better coastline. I, I, that's, that's really something. Anyway, now let's solve the Central Asia puppet question. Time for another conquest. With that out of the way now, Call to Arms, trans Volgan War. Yep, trans Volga will be annexed into the right. Oh. Okay, I see now. But the annexation of Transvolga isn't gonna last for long, though. First off, And now because I have a foothold in Transvolga, well, they're gonna get, they're gonna get what's coming to them. Spears Manifesto completed. Hold on. Let me fix, let me fix these. There we go. Now we do Spears Way or the Highway Approach. Don't worry, the resistance won't last too long. You'll be integrated back into your rightful home of Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan will be liberated, well, we'll puppet the Kazakhstan Socialist Republic later in the future, give them back their land, and create a Central Asian puppet state. And who is... And who is Karen Nosariak? Oh, it's the other state here. That That's why. I was wondering. No. Sorry, Ka sorry, Ka Ka Krasnoyarsk. You're basically on your own. I'm sorry. I have to do what's in my own interest. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, but you're basically going to be beeped to... It's going to be beaten to a pulp by the Russian Republic, mostly, so... Toodaloo. Mm-hmm. 
time for some change of Central Asian borders. And there we go. All of Kazakhstan now united. Thanks to me. Now let's head back over to the west and... Well... We're gonna make sure... This time we're gonna try to kick two birds down with one stone. And with a foothold here in Algeria, now we can... Now we can get this party started. First, defeat the local Algerians. Krasnoyarsk has just capitulated to the Russian Republic, finally. Britannia has just capitulated. Let's give them back to the French. And Algeria is close to capitulating, so let's make it final. Algeria is back into the French fold. I basically just kicked down two birds with one stone. Missing production equipment? I don't really bother about that right now. Oh, I don't have enough civilian factories? That's a shame. I'm mostly focusing on land wars at this point. I don't have any business with sea wars. Spears way or the highway approach. The Zentrum Party, the DPD, the SPD, the KAPD, the, P the KPDO, and KPD. Let's see. Werner Kripe, an a, a person who doesn't care for politics and is a military aviation doctrine. Hmm. Hmm. Islamic State of Turkestan, Union of Soviet Socialist Republic. Eh, the USSR is no more, so. More conquest time again. And now we shall reunite Kazakhstan into a greater stand. Turkmen People's Republic, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbek Khanate, and Tajikistan have all capitulated in one fell swoop. Kazakh Khanate has now annexed all of its rightful Central Asian land. I'm basically growing closer into my own spe in, in my own Grand Spear all the way from the western coast of the Atlantic all the way to the 
to the far east. But I think maybe just Central Asia will be good for now. Okay, let's see. Reforming the re reforming the intelligence agencies. Let's see. The SD Abwehr, Gestapo, and Ost are many, have many overlapping agencies that hold immense power and influence within the German state, political state, or military. One of one of Architect Man's bright reform ideas is to cut down and limit the size of these agencies and turn the system into a more centralized bureaucracy. Oh boy! Sorry, I needed to see this. No, the Russian Republic has just invaded Norilsk, and then we'll declare war on Altai. Mm -hmm. Oh, but it, oh, but Novodobersk has Altai as a kind of annex state justify war goal. Russian Liberation Movement, anti-Bolshevik in nature, the, the Russian Liberation Movement is centered around Novzobersk, a movement that seeks to liberate the whole of Russia under socialism without Marxist and Leninism, and establish a new Russia. You know, that would have fit perfectly for the Russian Republic. Hmm. But I wonder if they're gonna do the same thing like, um... You could cooperate with us or the Zig Zigrav revolutionaries. You know, I think I like a potential war between me and Nova Zobersk in future. Ooh, Sudan gained, gained its independence. That means it's going to be more territory for me to accept, to, to gain. A loss for the Toronto Accords means a gain for the new order of Germany. The reign of Sudan having ruled as a condominium between Britain and Egypt for almost 60 years became the first European colony in Africa to become independent. British forces withdrew as a new Sudanese nation was declared in Khartoum in the, in the capital. Good luck, Sudan. You're gonna need it. More conquest again. Oh. Okay, now we have the Abwehr Supremacy Centralized Agency. There we go. Finally, a centralized agency performs well. We needed it. Well, let me complete mutual assistance. There we go. Let's... Hmm. Let them bow before us. The West African Federation wouldn't even stand a chance. Also, please keep in mind, this is basically something in the perspective of Germany on how they see things. I have, I do, and all videos and whether of ideology I play as any country are not, I do not support any of them. This is just something for fun. There's a difference between supporting an ideology and just playing it for fun in real, in, depending on the game. Like, it's not that hard to define. Novizo Bursk also declared war on Norlisk. That's a new one. Norilsk capitulated to the Russian Republic. Everything is always in the Russian Republic's favor for some reason. And then there were two. No Novozobersk and the Russian Republic. Hmm. The German-Romanian Partnership. A willing puppet. Yep. Horia Sima. Memorial Day of the Movement. Remember the Beer Hall. Wow, West Africa just kicked it after that for some reason. 
France, you will get all of this land back. Hooray! All of former, all of the former Third French Republic colonial land in here is now belonging to the French state. But I don't like how the United Kingdom has Madagascar annexed directly with it. Hmm. Mutual assistance completed. The, the Reich's reform. Let's see. I need more political power than 99, and I don't have enough support. Now let's try the moderate approach. The so-called moderate ideology still remains strong aspects of, of German fascism, and is moderate in the sense that it differs greatly from Goebbels' ideas. These, se these sets of architectism man manism might be questionable, but they are well thought out by Mr. Speer himself. So it'll take me a long time to get any more of um any more political support for Spear, but uh yeah. It's gonna take a long it's gonna be a long winding road ahead. Woo! Reichskommissar Eastern Europe. I really didn't care for Gotland anyway, but as a matter of fact, I might as well try to skip that in future. Let's see. Hmm. Yep. And then there were just two. Tuva. Oh boy, they're closing in on the on the Kizil Kizi capital. And the first few Kazakhstan units have now been raised. Maybe I could join the Russian Republic in its fight against Novozobersk. Or maybe I'll join Novozobersk's battle against the Russian Republic. I mean, because look at this. American General Staff? Like, communities, reformed warlord state, call, creating our own intelligence service, central depart research department, using the political power. We have enough political support, but do I really have to do this? Old school politics, my boy. The illusion of equilibrium within the political structure is a great tool to ensure a long and fruitful leadership. And our old glory, the old glory of Germany, when back, back when Germany was at its peak, Mr. Must, Mr. Mustache Man's architect has completed his task, and his leadership is no longer in question. I wonder if they might, I wonder if they might try to annex the, pe the Mongolian People's Republic. Now that's something I want to see. Hmm. Yep, I knew it. Now it's just between the Russian Republic and Novozobersk. But you know, looking at their focus trees. I'm basically more inclined to see how a war between my SSRs and, like, Khrushchev would pan out. Uniting Western Russia. Huh. Although the, 
Requires ending the Union's sad story, reclaiming the Far East. Yep. Kind of makes me wonder how will Novo Bursk take this line down. It's basically like two democratic Russias, one future for either one. It's like, yeah, the poor is it that thing. Two democratic Russias, only one will go down in the history books as successful. Purchasing political favors. Finally. Old school politics. Time for another war conquest. Finally, that feels better. Morocco is completely defeated already. Heh. <laughs> mm-hmm. As for Germany... Well... Well, they can take all of it. They can take all of it. Yep. Now we have a now the now the French states empire has a long coastline. Heh. <laughs> we bo we bordered the Toronto Accord allies now in the south and the west. We gain another hero's day. Oof! Oof! Oh my God, Arab, er, Arab Federal Arab Republics, you you are in deep water right now. <laughs> you are in deep, deep water. <laughs> oh my God! But I might be, but I might be able to side to side good with the Toronto Accord allies if I can. I think I just got myself an idea. I think I got myself an idea. Now, now I was able to magically get a foothold in, in the Arab republics. But I might as well help the British. Or, you know, as they say, take the land for myself. <laughs> this is so good. Alright. Alright, now we're heading somewhere. Except a non-aggression pact from the Belgians. Wait, why is most of my... Okay, I was gonna ask why are most of my armies there. Damascus. Yep. <laughs> uh, but you know what? I might as well take over these areas. The British can take C you know what, I'm basically feeling generous as of right now. The British can take back its Transjordan. Or... Ah, you know what, screw it. The British can take back... The British can take back its... Pa its Palestine... Its 
Palestine with Jordan and Iraq. Actually, hold on. Nope, they'll just take... Nope, they'll just basically just take back Jordan's Jordan in these two areas, and I'll be taking Syria and Jordan. You know what, let's liberate the Hashemite Kingdom and liberate the Kingdom of Kurdistan. Liberate, liberate Jordan, liberate Syria, and liberate Kurdistan. Okay, maybe not Kurdistan, but... I'll be taking Iraq. <laughs> now I have my own foothold. Oh good, now I can help return Irene Irene and Kurdistan. <laughs> return Irene and Kurdistan. There we go. But you know what? Time for another- Another war, another dollar. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Syria just capitulated. And Jordan just capitulated. We'll be releasing Iraq. Hang on to that question. I'll be annexing these two. Mm-hmm. Now we can deal with this. Okay, first off, it's all oil regime in Greater Syria. Part one of a problem solved. Now let's see. Create a new puppet. Ugh, I don't like this at all. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to make some changes. There, most, much of the borders were set back to its default. Oh, I still have Syria in the faction, that's good. Let's see here. Old Glory. The Old Glory of Germany, back when Germany was at its peak. Now Spears' leadership will not be questioned. The Reich's Reform. The Reich's Reform is a title created by Architect Man, describing a series of great reforms that would shape Germany into its core. Some of some into the party openly expo expressed their concern for this project, saying that Architect Man does not have the will nor the political capital to achieve such a proud task. But Speer is determined to prove them all wrong. And then we go on to these, a nation like businesses. For liberalization. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold on. Oh, I need to invest more tech. A 1970s frigate. Man, I've been slow to even... 
foreign powers have a foot in our country. Okay, let me just put up some... Alright, there we go now. But I need like 10 civilian... How many do I even have? I want to see the trade list for the, for the time being. Civilian factories, I have 110. It's saying I don't have enough civilian factories to create an agency, but other countries have already made an agency. What's the difference? Like, like, Jesus. I don't get it. And well... Well basically, I, Persia is disconnected, it has forced me to disconnect the free powers here, Syria, Iraq, and Transjordan. But hey, I'm still on good part, I'm still on good slight part terms with them. But I think Syria is really wanting to get back to their sweet, sweet land. Including this area of Haiti. But I'm not going to split hairs on that. I wonder if I could also help India re regain back Pakistan, Bangladesh, and the two other small kingdoms there. Hmm. Bose can... Chandra Bose continues his plans. Desai comes in with the new India. Oh well, doesn't really matter. And this is where I'm gonna stop for now on the 7th of June, 1956. As you can see, my alliance has grown thick with puppets. Damn, boy, he thick, boy. I just wanted to make that, make in that joke. But I know that the Toronto Accords line spans a lot more wider. But anyway, hope you like this video. Subscribe, share, like, hope, share it with family, friends, and, and, and any other person you think of. And I'll see you guys next time for episode 5.